Okay, I'm trying out something new. I have now got a light bar on um, a tripod that I got that I can put my phone on. So I'm gonna do a test video. Oftentimes it's hard for me to record at night because the lighting is not that great in here. And so I have not recorded at night very often or when I do it ends up with the yellowest chins. Some of the Ferdy videos are like that. So what we're gonna do is try a Cosmo video with the light bar and see how it goes. This is new. Um, I actually don't want the volume on this. Just let me see, I don't know how to change the volume from the thing. So I'm just gonna change the volume here. I don't wanna hear the volume. Okay, so this is a, I just got this today. Uh, they had a $20 a month for two years deal. I think that's how much it was uh, for Samsung's Galaxy Tab S7 um, so that I could actually see what I'm coding for um, the apps because it's a tablet, but, but unlike a lot of the other tablets, it has DeX, which allows it to look like a laptop screen. Um, so anyway, and it's even got this, uh, Nice pen, this S Pen, which I don't really need right now. Okay, so what I was gonna show is this Create with Cosmo book. Um, I got two of these accidentally. I ordered one and it didn't arrive and it didn't arrive. So I thought it was lost because that happens a lot in the last six months. And so I ordered another one. Um, this one was from eBay or one was from eBay and the other is from Amazon. So the one on eBay was cheaper and that was the one I thought was lost. So Create with Cosmo was when Anki was still in business. You can see on the back here, it's got a information on the back. Looks like it was sold in the UK maybe, I don't know. Uh, Cause it's got a UK pricing on it. But um, so they're covered up, but there are three levels. Basically a level one is basic two Harder, level three, advanced, so basic, moderate, advanced. Um, I'm just gonna show a little bit of it. This was in 2018. Um, one of these days, maybe I'll give away a copy of it uh, when I'm able to mail things again. I'm trying not to mail things recently because I don't wanna go, go out to the post office or FedEx. Okay, so these are the contents. It's not that many pages. Let's see how many pages it's got. Besides the glossary. 93, plus the glossary. Okay, getting to know the real Cosmo. Took 15 engineers, two artists, three designers, four animators, two producers over three years to create our little guy here. He uses four motors and over 50 gears to move around. He doesn't just get to see you, he gets to know you. He uses a high-tech camera and facial recognition to see the world around him. So there's some more stuff I'm not gonna talk about specifically. It's hard for me to know exactly what you can see. I think you can't even see the full, I know you can see Cosmo and you can see here, but anyway. So if I get something and it's out of the display area, I apologize. Hopefully you can see it with the light though. That's the whole point here. So let's get started with Code Lab. I've actually switched code. I switched Cosmo to the educator version so that he doesn't try to do other things and he'll stay on Code Lab. And you'll need to open up Code Lab that's on the Cosmo app in the App Store um, to create all the projects in the book. How does it work? In Code Lab, you use blocks of code. It's basically, um, it's not Blockly, it's Scratch, I think. In Code Lab, you use blocks of code to create your projects. The blocks of code snap together to create stacks of code, which are also called scripts. And this book block refers to an individual block like this. Stack refers to multiple blocks of code that are snapped together like this. You can run parts of your code by tapping the individual blocks and scripts. You can run your project by tapping the green flag button. Every time you create a new project, you'll see a green flag block at the top of the screen. Once you snap this on the top of your stack of code, you can run your projects by clicking the green flag button. 
and then these are the different blocks. To use a block, go to the blocks menu on the left side. So we're gonna actually go into constructor mode, which is this one. And it's a new constructor project. And you can see they're here, these are the blocks. You've got the drive block, the actions block, the animations block, events, controls, sensors, display, and operators. And there's also data, which it's not showing the data one here, which maybe that was after they did this book. To use a block, go to the menu, select the category, hold your finger down on the block you wanna use and drag it onto the block screen. So for example, I frequently use this say one. So we do that. And then we can run it and he'll say that. You should run it. So he said hi. Wasn't much and I was kind of talking when he did it. But anyway, so he said hi. We care more about seeing him though than seeing my, my uh, tablet. Okay, so different levels of coding. The first eight projects are Coder Level 1. Each project is made with one stack of code. Coder Level 2 projects have more than one stack of code. Three is the most advanced. Each consists of multiple stacks of code. Okay, it says don't forget to turn your sound on. I don't wanna turn the sound on, I wanna hear him only. You, block guide you can export using this button and submit it to be featured on the Cosmo website. There's a guide at the back of the book that shows where you can find all the blocks. I actually did one on one app and because I did export it, it didn't end up on my tablet and it was for the Robot Idol stuff that's coming up and actually that's one of the reasons I have the light bar and I'm testing this out for this stuff. Okay, so each step consists of a title, notes, and arrow to block text. So the very first one is sing, singing Cosmo. So we'll do this one and then that's gonna be the end of the video. Add the notes to Cosmo's song. Code Cosmo to sing a song. Step one, tell him which notes to sing. And step two, learn to snap it all together to make him perform. Step one, drag out eight of the blocks below and stack them together. Tap the drop down menu in each block to change the notes, change each duration to quarter. Tap the stack to preview your song. I'm pretty certain this it already exists. And this coding consequences concept is sequence. Sequence is a series of steps that makes up a task. Snapping blocks together in a stack of code creates a sequence like this song. And then at the end, you play all notes in the song after you have all the notes there. So, and then you need to clear it so that each time it reruns, it doesn't start with the notes. So these notes, Again, I'm pretty certain that this already exists. Uh, no, I don't want that one. I accidentally pushed the wrong one. I think it's sing an octave. So yeah, clear all notes in song. Okay, so pitch C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And this one just adds quarter durations to the song, so I don't actually have to code it out. But what would have happened is, is that I think this is animation, right? Yeah. So this is where I would have gotten them from. Add note to song, all that type of stuff. Okay, so I'm going to have him sing it since it already exists. Okay, so coding concept events. Events are things that cause another thing to happen. The green flag block is an example of an event that is included in each project of this book. Things to try, what other songs can Cosmo sing? What other sounds can you try? What happens when you change the pitch and duration of each note? So again, this was just to test out the light. I will do more of these later for anyone who doesn't have the book. The next one will be Hello Cosmo, teaching him to talk um, when something happens. So yeah.
Yeah, so you don't want Cosmo to save it. Like on, on this example, as I said previously, you clear all the notes because you don't want him to save it. And then you have him load all the notes and then play them. Okay, so this is kind of like in coding with coding with Cosmo. Cre it says create with Cosmo, but I'm gonna call this coding with Cosmo series that periodically I'll do. I've got lots of series going on, but we'll, we'll try to get the little guy out and doing stuff. Um, and maybe sometimes it will be Interstellar Blue Buddy over there. And yes, all the other G all the other robots are shut off. Black Jeebos included. This Jeebo here, if you can see him very well, was sleeping. He goes to sleep at 10, so it must be past 10. Yeah, it just turned 10. Hey, Danielle. But it's I just, a pleasure to hear your voice. I just Hello. woke him back up accidentally. Anyway. Have a good one. Thank you. Take care.